Hey guys, it is Stephanie from Impulsive Auditions. We are watching Rob Gronkowski challenges Logan and Jake Paul to a boxing match. Mm, looking at this guy, I think Jake might be able to beat him. Not so much Logan because Logan hasn't won a single match yet. You never know, you could be watching this in 2022, 2023, and he might have won one. But let's get into this. My brothers beat the crap out of me, like, nonstop. So I feel like these hits now that I take in the NFL, being young and just always getting pounded on and taking those hits has got me prepared for such violence in the game of the NFL. I, I used to beat the shit out of Jake, and I used said the same thing. <laughs> this will prepare you for the NFL. <laughs> yeah, that's actually why he's a great boxer. He never well, made it to the NFL. <laughs> he well, never made it. Hey. Well, that's that's probably why he uh, he won his last uh, boxing match. Probably because of you, Logan. That's yeah. What you yeah. guys What you guys think yeah. of that? Did you <laughs> Did you guys watch that fight? Did you Did you Could you have uh, predicted that that was going to go down that way? And what What do you guys think about the next fight against Askren? Nothing. No <laughs> they're like yeah, they're like Askren's gonna they're like Askren's gonna fuck him up. This one, buddy. You, know, you know, I think I, I Chris Ryan got it. scared. Like I'm not gonna say anything because if I say something wrong, they're gonna beat me up in the, in the box. Yeah, yeah, you better watch. <laughs> hey, could, Rob, could you uh, ever see yourself in in a boxing match? Uh, you, uh, I can, you know, I actually went to the Floyd Mayweather uh, Pacquiao fight, and I was there with Amendola and Julian, and like we were all, you know, gassed up after the fight, and we were rolling around the lobby, and Amendola had his hands up like this, and I was just throwing jabs at his hands the whole day, and the whole time he's like getting you prepared Rob, for the next fight, and like in that moment, I felt like I could do it, and then the next day, Amendola showed me his hands. His hands were completely swollen, and we had to go to practice, and he wouldn't want. He didn't want to catch the football two days later still because his hands were swollen because we were just going that ham. That's perfect. Sounds like sounds like you're built for the sport or just all sports. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. I think uh, I think we're gonna take two two Gronk Bros versus the Pauls. Oh <laughs> damn! I would please. Hey, can please. you do that at wow. Gronk? Can you do that, that at clear. Gronk Beach? Do that at Gronk Beach as a promotional aspect of Gronk Beach. Have Cascade in the background or one of those guys. I would. Uh, I would pay any money to see that happen. Speaking of money, if you guys decide to do that, let me know at least two weeks. So I can liquidate all of my money and put it on you guys. <laughs> Dude, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been staring at your neck for like four, like what? How long have we been on this? Speaking <laughs> of a large fraction of the Two guys on the like right. This, this spends candy. Versus Logan Almost and Jake. Back. Like a pez head. Okay, <laughs> guys, that is it for this clip. Again, I don't have much to add to football stuff. I don't know who this guy is. I don't know his life before this. But. Seems like he's an alright guy. He what plays with Tom Brady. I know who that is because of Ted, the talking bear. In any case, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Like it if you like it. Dislike it if you disliked it. And comment down below if who do you think is going to win? Logan and Jake or the Gronkowski brothers? Bye. <laughs>